it's no secret that I'm obsessed with Disney shorts. Most of the Disney shorts that I watch are from the 1920s to the 1950s, occasionally the 1960s. But I noticed this new series on Disney Plus. I say new, it's been out since 2013. But compared to the 1940s, relatively new series of Mickey Mouse short films. Now I've seen many Mickey Mouse short films. I'd say tens, certainly not hundreds, but definitely in the tens. And I was curious to see a contemporary approach to this. I have to say, I'm kind of on the fence with this first one. I've only seen the first episode in the series, uh, which is Croissant de Triomphe. And honestly, it's apparently also the third episode in the series, but on Disney Plus it's listed as the first. So the first one that I have watched. And I'm, I found it fun, but I don't like the animation style. The animation style is trying to be classic, but is just really cheesy and gimmicky. It doesn't feel like a Disney animation. It doesn't feel like this is from a Walt Disney Studios production team. But it feels like somebody trying to be retro and it just doesn't really work. But the narrative, the narrative I quite enjoy. So this is written and directed by Paul Rudish. And in this one, Minnie Mouse is working in a cafe in Paris and she's run out of croissants which is obviously made a tragic, massive problem. Mickey Mouse gets on his scooter, uh, kind of like a Vespa, and throughout this little short episode, which is a couple of minutes long, he has to try and deliver these croissants and this giant baguette thing to Minnie. But unfortunately, Paris is basically in gridlock. The traffic is horrific. So he takes the side streets, and we get a little look through the back streets of Paris and the Arc de Triomphe and... You know, all of this beautiful animated architecture. And I will say, the animation design is gorgeous. It's just not Mickey Mouse. It's not Disney. It does not feel Disney to me at all. Now, of course, it is Disney, because just factually, it is Disney. But it didn't feel Disney to me. If you'd showed me a picture, you know, maybe a landscape freeze frame from this, I probably wouldn't have guessed that it was Disney. And because I do prefer the classic shorts, and I prefer the more classic representations of Mickey and Minnie, well, it could have been better. But the narrative I really liked. Daisy Duck is in it, which I thought was very sweet. I enjoyed watching it. I will watch the rest of the series. It doesn't feel Disney. It feels like somebody's trying to make classic Disney appeal to a contemporary audience. But I think it's the, the underestimate. Underestimate how much people love the classic animation design of Disney. Nevertheless, I enjoyed it. I thought the narrative was fun, it was quirky. Mickey's little adventure through Paris I thought was a lot of fun. There's a weird moment with like a merry-go-round and croissants and it's... The animation is beautiful, even though it's not what I wanted from Disney shorts. It is beautiful. I really liked it. If you haven't seen the series, definitely check out this first episode. Croissant de Triomphe is pretty good fun and I'm certainly looking forward to watching the rest.